Okay, uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're looking at problem number 7.2, and it's creating what we call the stock class. Okay, and this class is basically a, a um, gigantic beast. It involves a bunch of private data fields um, with that each course have a corresponding get method, and then some of them have some set methods. We have this um, symbol and name, which of course have their corresponding get methods, and then a um, previous closing price with its uh, get and set method. It corresponds, of course, to the previous closing price. Um, we have a current. We have a current price with um, which corresponds to its current price and then its uh, get and set methods. And then of course the constructor, uh, we, it constructs a stock with the specified um, symbols, um, the specified values. Um, and uh, it has that have the symbol, name, previous price and current price all represented uh, and then the get change and then th we have a method um, that's get change percent uh, which which returns the percentage change from the previous closing price to the current price okay so it, it's it's a lot of um, information the basic idea is we want to create this stock class and then um, we run a test, uh, a test, a uh, test, um, uh, a test file or a test program. And later on, we'll do the UML for this beast. Okay, so let's dig in. Um, okay, so first we're creating this class. So of course we start by saying uh, class um, stock. Okay, and first off, um, we have to create the data fields. So they're all private here. So we want to go, oh, uh, I'm sorry. We have to do the init first. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I always forget this. We have to go create the um, init, the initializer module, um, which includes, oops. Boy, I can't spell today at all. Self, um, it has the um, it has the symbol uh, name, uh, previous uh, previous uh, what is it? Previous closing closing price and current price okay and now we have to create so uh, now we have to create the data fields so and they're all private here so um, symbol uh, equals to symbol uh, self name equals to uh, name yeah a lot of uh self dot um previous oops not previous previous um closing price to be equal to previous closing uh, price um, and then self dot current price uh, t equal to current price. Okay, and now we want this guy self dot stock to equal to. Um, oh, what? Wait a minute. Um, yeah. Okay. So, what do you, 
the way we're going to do it is I'm going to create the string, which I'm going to use a format method on the string to set it. So, um, so what I'm doing then, each of these positions in the string is going to correspond to the variables. So this one will correspond to the self.symbol. So in particular, then this string format. So this is, um, I'm using the format method on, so the string method format to create my, oops, my, um, my string. So the, so you'll see in the end what it does. It's, it's going to basic. It's going to return the string in a nice way. Actually, I I I, I really like this uh, method of doing this cr string creation. Actually, it really does it in a very nice way. A relatively simple way, actually, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, remember, of course, when you're doing this, you have to use the self, um, the self guys. You can't just use the variable itself. You have to use the, you have to use the self. Um, it should do it this way. Okay. And then, so that was one mistake I made. Um, what I mean is, um, instead of using this this self dot current price, I might just try using the current price, and you'll see that um, Python does not allow that, doesn't like that, so can't do that. Uh, whoops, um, sorry. You have to use the the. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so that sets the stock. Uh, now we have to create the corresponding get methods. So now the get, the corresponding get methods. So corresponding, uh, oops, corresponding uh, get methods. Okay. So there we go, def, um, get, uh, we'll say get uh, symbol, symbol of self, uh, and that just, whoops, I did that again, which just returns, uh, return self uh, dot, Symbol again when you're we're doing this because it's private. Make sure you you type out the right thing because it's very easy. It should be you know self dot symbol. Um, okay, and then we do the same thing again with def um, get name self. That return, return. Um, I'm just going to do this way self dot name. Save me a little time here. Control copy. Okay, control B. You have to go through and create each of these guys. DEF. It's not fun necessarily, but get um, previous. Closing price, again, we should do self, and let's go through churn. And copy, and then get, um, uh, oops, I got current price self. Yeah, I have to put the self there. I have to remember that. That's a very easy mistake to make. 
I made it many times myself. Um, <laughs> myself. I forgot the self. You know, that sounds kind of um, very deeply philosophical. Uh, myself, I forgot my, I forgot the self, you know, that's a deeply philosophical statement there, though it's really just a statement of, uh, you know, it's a computer science statement. Uh, so we don't need a, um, we don't need a get statement for a self dot stock for the stock because the stock is not, um, pri the stock is not private. It's not a private data field. Um, and so we don't need a get for that, but we now, so we have to do the set methods, the corresponding, um, set methods, set methods. And here again, we have to do debt, F, um, set. Uh, so we, so we aren't, we aren't concerned about the symbol or the name because those, we don't need to set. Once they've been set um, in the uh, in the initial statement, we don't have to worry about setting it later on. See, that's that's the point of the set modules are values that are going to change. So from one day to the next, you'll change the um, the uh, the price. You know, obviously the the closing price will change. So previous. Um, Set previous uh, closing price. Um, see the 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 previous closing price will change obviously from one day to the next. But because the um, the 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 closing price the previous closing price is private, I cannot just set it um, without having to change the entire, without having to create a whole new instance of the stock. So by defining this set um, previous stock uh, or previous, um, I can actually change the previous closing price without having to create a whole new instance of the obvious. So now what I do is, Self dot. Um, actually, I just want to do this. Is I want to basically say state this. Oops, I forgot something here. Uh, sorry, I forgot something. Control copy. Um, uh, the statement up there is technic is wrong. So I I actually want to include here. So I want to, so the previous, so the variable I want is the previous closing price. So what this, what this will allow you to do is say, hey, we're talking about stock um, that, uh, that, so we're talking about stock to that closed yesterday, say at $25, and then closes today, say at $30. So previously, it would be stuck, it would be set at the closing price of $25. And that would be this, the, the instance of the stock would have the price set at $25. Well, today, if it closes at $30, well, I don't want to create a whole new instance of the same stock. All I want to do is be able to change the the price so that it will be updated, if you will, by creating the set um, previous price. I can now set it without having to change the whole instance of it. So that that's the point of why you create the setter function, the setter guys. And to be honest with you, one of the re the main reason I'm mentioning this is because it was a question that um, that I was thinking about. It seemed to me kind of a stupid thing to do uh, to have these things, but I it occurs to me why now why you need it. And like I say, 
the main reason is because this way I don't have to create a whole new instance of the stock. I can just input the new previous price or the previous closing price and, and that will just update the instance to reflect the current situation, if you will. So this is current price. Anyhow, I, I felt that was a, um, <laughs> you may not care, but I, I felt that that's actually an interesting um, point to make anyhow. So that's what the set, um, that's what the setter functions do. Modules, I should say, sorry, are um, methods, methods are the words. Methods, modules, all this kind of stuff gets a bit confusing. Okay, so um, now these are the uh, corresponding set methods. Um, and now we just have this um, other get method, which includes, um, so it's def, and it's not really the same as the other get methods, so I sort of separated it off, which is get um, change, I guess he calls it percent. Um, and again, it's just of the self. <laughs> and it just returns the percentage. So 100 times. Um, now I want to go through this. So uh, let me see. So it should be, I'm going to go the, okay, the current price. We'll just say control. So it's 100 times self dot. Again, when you do this, make sure you use the self current price uh, minus the um, previous price. Come on. All of this divided by self dot. Okay, uh, yeah, so uh, make sure you have the return there. So the whole thing, you know, takes, I mean, it's, it's quite involved, like I said. Oops, not return, it's return. Okay. Okay, so it's, I mean, it's all very involved. It's quite, it takes quite a bit of time, but the basic idea is you just go through and remember that to define the private ones or the private um, data fields, you use these underscore things and that once the, once you define the data field as private, then you, you depending on whether it, it needs to, to be, changed or not you'll need these get and um, set methods in fact i think you should always if you have a private field you should always have get get um, methods but the set ones are really just needed if you're changing anything so if you're going to change the um the information or whatever so Okay, um, right. Okay, let's just save that and run it once. Not that we're going to get anything when we run it, but that's good. Um, and then we're going to look at the stock check. So now what I'm just doing is this is the test file. So in, in particular now, um, I'm importing the module stock from the the file here stock um, and then i'm creating an instance or an instantiating stock with um, this guy my stock and it's the um, it's the one given in the book it's the intc guy intel corporation and he has these values and you'll see now um, if I run it, what happens? I mean, the pretty obvious stuff ha happens. Um, and then notice then I can do something like this. I can do my uh, stock um, dot uh, previous closing price. So I'll go um, 
set previous closing price as say so it was um 20.35 i believe was the previous closing price or was it oh uh the current oh the the previous closing price was 20.5 so we'll change that now to 22 uh 22.2 um and now we can look at now we can um we can go my uh, stock dot stock and so you see now that the whoops um did not do it um okay so something went wrong here okay um yeah so something's wrong um anyhow i'm gonna just uh i'm sorry about that but uh okay um i wanted to uh Okay, uh, let, let's, let's just ignore that. I'm sorry about that. So, something went on. I'm not sure why. But let, let's um, get to the UML here. Um, so let's get to the UML. Um, okay, so uh, to this end, um, let's go through this. And we're creating now the stock. So this is the... Um, U M L um, UML diagram. Okay, and it is for stock. And it has a bunch of data fields. So it is let's see. Um, symbol, of course. Now these are private, so I'm using the dash symbol here, and this is a string um name of course is again it's private so symbol um symbol or uh sorry string um and we had current um current or previous not previous previous uh closing price closing price um should be of course this is a float and current price again is a float um and so those are these are our data fields our data, um, actually, we also have, these are the private, we'll call it the private data fields. Um, we also have the, um, we also have the, uh, the one, which is stock, which is not a private field, it's just a data field. It's a, or I'm um, sorry. Okay, uh, and then we have. Um, okay, so now our modules are um, stock, and it is again symbol. I hate doing all this because it's really just repeating the same thing. Which is a string, um, and none of these are set. None of these are set before or um, have a uh, have what you call a um, uh, they none of these have um, initialized values, so we don't have to worry about that. And the current price is the float. 
Um, and this guy, he just creates, he, uh, he creates, uh, so he returns, he returns a string or string, um, which is create, or he creates, creates a stock, stock object with the corresponding, oops, corresponding, um, symbol, uh, symbol, uh, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so the corresponding values, uh, representing the corresponding values. And um, then we have the get set methods for the, um, the private data. And the other method we have is the get change, get change percent. Um, and this is going to be a float and it just returns returns um, the, uh, the the percentage uh, percentage change um, from uh, previous closing price to current price. Okay, uh, so that's that's the whole the whole kit and caboodle, as they say. Uh, it's you know it's quite a bit of um, quite a bit of information. You know it's quite long, but that's the basic idea. You know you you create the stock class with its private data and its and um, the get me and the methods, the get methods, the set methods, and so on and so forth. And then you um, go through and you create the um, the uh, the UML diagram. So anyhow, uh, thank you very much, and have a nice day.